Hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to do another product review. This is a product that I received, full disclosure, from the company that I think distributes it, New Febs, and it's a full 5G wireless security system. It comes with an NVR and four cameras. Now, the cameras do need power. So I understand that in this kit, we also have the power supplies for each of these. So you will need electricity nearby where you put the cameras in order to plug them in. But they do not need any sort of network or data cable in order to get to the NVR because the NVR and the cameras are all wireless. So what I'll do is I'm gonna open this up and then we're gonna do a quick setup. It's supposed to be very easy to get started and we'll find that out for sure. So let's see what we got here, okay? Stick around to the end and you'll see this whole thing working. So let's open it up. It didn't come shrink wrapped, just open it up clearly here. Let's see what we got. Well, I think this uh, really protected, bubble protected device is the NVR. It's very light. I understand that it has a one terabyte hard drive in it. I am not sure whether or not it can be upgraded or not. I'll have to check on that and put it down as a pinned comment to this video once I find it out for sure. But as you can see, it has two wireless antennas to it. It does not go through for that connection, the wireless, through your wireless network. But it does connect up to your network, but it has to be done hardwired. So here are the connections right here. You have in the back something for a VGA, which nobody uses anymore, really. You got HDMI right over here. It's got two USB 2.0 ports. And of course, this is the connector for the power. It does have a power brick on it. The power supply is not built into this. Then looks like it has a reset button over here. Let me see what's in the rest of the boxes. Put this on the side. This first box looks like maybe a general accessory box. Well, here's instructions. Unfortunately, there's not much here. It's eight and a half by 11 glossy color page and all the instructions are on here. But I did find, and I'll put the link down below to the actual online version of this manual. It looks like a service card if you need any service to it. The four antennas for the four white cameras. Okay. Looks like it's got a RJ45 networking cable to connect up the NVR to your local network. So hopefully, you know, you don't have your uh, switch that controls your network or your router that far away that this will be too much of a problem. If you can't put it closer, you'll have to get yourself probably a larger cable than, than this little, what looks like maybe a three foot cable for sure. I'm not even gonna bother opening it up, it's very short. Power supplies, let's see what we got here. Supposed to have four small power supplies, but here's a larger one. So this one here is for the NVR, okay? And then it's got four smaller power supplies, one for each of the cameras. Okay, it's got some mounting hardware, looks like for the cameras, four sets of mounting hardware, and it comes with a mouse. Okay. It's supposed to have a graphical interface to it that allows you to control it. It does not seem to be a, a very high quality mouse, so we'll see how that works out when I'm trying to use it. Okay, I'll let you know for sure once I've got it up and running. Let's pick one of the cameras. We got here. It's supposed to be, a, I think, a 2K camera. You can tighten it up, the angle here to what you need. Yep. You can position it any way you want. Looks like I have it upside down right now, so I'll fix that. Let me switch it to the other side. So it'll be more like this here when we hook it on the wall. You want to put that little shade part to the top because that way you keep the sun from hitting directly on the lens. And it's got a single cable here, which is a power cable. That's all there is. And that's for connecting to the power adapters that I just pulled out. I think that's about it. I'll take a look at these in more detail. And there's four of them. So that's the only thing that's in the box left are four of these cameras. So with that, let me, uh, let me set it up. I won't power it on until I turn the camera on. I'll try to capture it on the monitor to see if I can uh, catch it right away. And you can see what comes up when I first turn it on. Okay. I see something coming on. Wi-Fi, NVR. Let's see what happens here. 
Now we gotta configure it. Okay. Now it seems to work. Oh, they're coming on. I see cameras coming on. I have four cameras connected. Oh, I see it once at that test state. That one's there in the lower right. That one's there in the lower left. This one here is not seeing much of me because it's uh, it can't see me. So I can get this one a little bit in a better position here. How's that? Still not that good. It's too close, I think. Let's see if I push this out of the way here. Okay, there it is. And then I have one that's behind me over there by the window. Okay. So all four cameras are showing up. Let's see. I don't want this time. Let me change it to what we are. Current factory default user password is displayed in clear text with safety. Please modify it. Okay. So I'll pick a password here. Please complete safety questions. Let's see what uh, I'm going to put two safety questions in here. It's really hard to use this menu. Please draw the unlock pattern. So we see four cameras on. It has internal IP addresses. Now these are within the NVR itself 172.25.123.4, 155. 169 and 245. They are wireless. What can I do next? Install mobile app. I don't want to do that right now. I'll skip that map, but I would have to do that QR code in order to do the mobile app. Let me see. Is that something I can do? Let me uh, get my phone here. Try this. Let's see what I got here. It says XMI Pro. Let me put it up to one of these cameras so you can see what I'm talking about. That's the app that it uh, that it wants to do, XMI Pro. I will get that app. Install it. It says it's done. I'll create an account and all of that. I will cancel for now and I'll do that later. Okay. For now I'll just leave it on the screen here. So there we are. We got four cameras going. So as I said before. This one over here, it's off to my front left, almost directly in front of me, a little bit off to the side. This one back here, this is right behind me on the side as well. This one up here, there it is, you can see in the lower right. And then I should have one over here by the window. Okay, so we see all four, all four cameras running fine. I won't go through the playbacks or anything at this point. If uh, anybody's interested, they can go ahead and put a comment down below if they're interested in seeing a follow-up video to this where I would, you know, get some of that stuff more readily done. Test all the different features with this, all the different menus, because it goes through a lot of different menus here. You can record human detect so it does see me as a human detect so there's a lot of options to this so here's all four cameras i didn't have to do anything to them i just powered them on before i turned the nvr on and it was just fine so uh, i think that's a pretty good startup it was simple easy to use and like i said uh, put comments down below if you're interested in getting a follow-up